Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode 7. It helped me to actually feel like I have something to live for. <laughs> you can you can take the vitamin pill, da, 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 but it's not the same. And it really just levels up your experiences. No! Bonjour et to say. My name is Electra, and you're watching the What I Needed to Hear series, <laughs> episode seven. <laughs> Y'all, can you believe that we're on episode seven already? <gasps> I swear they grow so fast. <laughs> so, as you can see by the title, Micro Habits to Keep You Happy. Clearly, we're gonna be talking about happiness. By the end of this video, you're going to have three tips that I have used and implemented in my real life that actually got me out of seasonal depression. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get into that, I'm gonna need ya to hit the subscribe button. <clears throat> like right now. What are you waiting for? Hit it? Good. Now let's get on to the video. Uh. So the first micro habit that I have that I used to help me maintain happiness is something that I feel is so popular and that I kind of feel is overlooked. And I feel like people take advantage of it, I'm not gonna lie. But it is going outside and getting some sun. I don't care if you was taking a walk, I don't care if you was taking a nap, I don't care if you just sticking your head outside for five minutes. But what I do care is about you making sure you get your vitamin D. I mean, okay, yeah, you can you can take the vitamin pill, da -da -da -da, but it's not the same. It's genuinely not the same. Yeah, sure, you're giving your body the actual nutrients or whatever but being in the sun is a completely different ball again let me tell you when i had seasonal depression i didn't know what to do i was like listen ain't nothing wrong is happening in my life right now but i feel depressed and then i had to take in what am i doing every single day i'm in bed under my covers being miserable as soon as i started adding my daily walks my life literally changed in like a week Y'all don't have to do 20 minute walks. Y'all don't even have to walk. Y'all can literally just go outside, sit down in the grass or sit down in a chair and take in the sun. You could take a walk, you could take a run, you could do whatever. But as long as you're letting that sun touch your face, touch your head and really penetrate your skin and penetrates your emotions because I swear the sun be doing something. All right, there are literally so many benefits to getting sun, but don't just take my word for it. Take medical news today's word for it. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thank you, Electra. Today, I'm here to let you know the benefits of you getting sun. <laughs> Teleprompter. Benefits of getting sun include promoting a sensation of well-being and improving mood, boosting the immune system, relieving pain, promoting relaxation, helping wounds heal, helping people feel more alert, increasing job satisfaction when a person's workplace has access to sunlight, and reducing depression. <laughs> Back to you in the studio, Electra. <laughs> Why, thank you for reading those out to us, Josh. We really appreciate you. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> It's life changing. Like I really cannot explain to you the benefits that I felt after walking outside daily. It helped me think clearly. It helped me be more creative. It helped me to be more productive throughout the day. It helped me to actually feel like I have something to live for. <laughs> Next, the second micro habit that I have to help you maintain your happiness is to have a gratitude practice. Now I know y'all heard of having the gratitude list, waking up and journaling three things you're grateful for, da 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 da, -da. but it doesn't always have to be with a pen and a paper you could literally have the practice that i practice okay before i eat i like to say three things that i'm grateful for out loud to myself or with my friends if i'm with them and even though it's not really like a prayer it just reminds me that i have so many things to be grateful for on top of this meal i'm about to have there is just something so important about remembering all the blessings that you have. Even though you may not have every single one of them that you actually want yet, you do have a lot. The fact that you're able to watch this video, you should be grateful. The fact that you're able to see this video or hear this video, you should be grateful. The fact that you're able to breathe right now, you should be grateful. Bro, there are just so many things. My socks, my hair, my makeup, my lights, my home, my bed, the food, the place, my friends, relationships, little successes here and there. There are literally a million and one things 
things to be grateful for. And when you pay more attention to your blessings, your life automatically becomes a better experience. The more grateful I am for the things in my life, the more things in my life I have to be grateful for. It's like the energy of gratitude multiplies blessings and it really just levels up your experiences. If you are an ungrateful person or if you just forget to count your blessings or forget to acknowledge your blessings or forget da 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 whatever, I would definitely say pay attention more to the things that you take for granted. For example, you could be taking your mother for granted. You could be taking the fact that you breathe for granted. You could be taking your car for granted. You could be taking your phone for granted. You could be taking th so many things for granted. You could literally be sitting here complaining about everything that's going wrong when you're not even appreciating what's going right. And it doesn't matter what you don't have. What matters is that you be grateful for something. The last micro habit that I have for this video is <laughs> something that you will always hear me say. I will always preach about this. It is to gas yourself, dude. Nothing hypes me up more than me hyping myself up. Okay, clock it. Okay, listen. In my personal opinion, I feel like it is no one else's responsibility to make sure that I'm happy besides my own. I cannot wait for a man to make me happy or my best friend to make me happy or a celebrity to make me happy or a show to make me happy. I have to take those steps in myself. And I feel like one of the best and easiest ways to do that is to compliment myself, hype myself, gas myself up. Every time I look in the mirror, oh my gosh, girl, you pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I finish a goal, oh my gosh, girl, you is a boss for real. <laughs> Every time, every time, every time, it doesn't matter what. I love to compliment myself. I love to hype myself up. Some people may see this as like narcissistic or like conceited or cocky, but if I'm not gonna gas myself, who will? That's just such an easy happiness booster. Like hearing a compliment from somebody else does feel good, but it's like I can compliment myself on command. <laughs> like I can really hype myself up on command. Like, and it just feels good every single time. I have not complimented myself once and then was like, oh, I feel like shit. Or, oh, I just messed up. Or, oh, blah, blah, blah. I always feel very happy after I compliment myself. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I feel like this is my favorite point because I just love hearing good compliments. I am a fire sign, allow me. But yeah, it's just something that boosts my mood. There's just so many things to hype myself about and I feel like it's just nice to hear myself say it. Like that is all the micro habits I have for you today. I might make a part two. I know this video was probably kind of really short, but your girl's busy this week, so. Anyways, I hope these micro habits helped you out. I hope these micro habits, even if you heard them before, it's nice to hear again to remind yourself of the things that maybe you don't always do. You know what I mean? But yeah, hopefully you liked this episode. Hopefully you took something from this episode and hopefully you subscribed and I see you in episode eight. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe, leave a cute little comment. All right, my name is Electra and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.